Welcome back for more Tales of Vesperia. Last time we got to the Shikos Ruins after getting some training done. And uh, now we're going to move into the actual ruins. We're in the ruins themselves, but we're going to move into the underground part of the ruins, and that's just over here. It looks like no one's here. No Imperial thie Knights, Thieves, or anyone else. Maybe they're further in. How far in are we talking here? Doesn't look like anyone's been here, does it? Information about the underground couldn't have gotten out, could it? The underground? Recently, an entrance to an underground area was uncovered here. A handful of mages are supposed to be the only one, only people who know about it. <laughs> but it's okay for us to know this. I don't have much choice if I'm to clear my name, do I? Clear your name, huh? <sighs> the ground is scratched here. It's not like I would have minded letting the thieves have the ruins about above ground after we've finished the excavating. I uh, finished the excavation, but it's a good thing that we came here when we did. Well then, we better hurry up and follow them. All we have to do is move this. Go, Carol. Your shortness gives you super strength. Huff huff. Come on, you have to put your shoulder into it. Your one shoulder. Because look at his awesome one-armed strength. Come on, just a little more. And they moved a giant statue, which probably would have never been possible. Unless it's actually plaster and hollow and everything. <laughs> sure, that was a cinch. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, here we go. Excellent. In we go. And we enter the Shikos Ruins Underground. This is going inside ruins. Be careful over there, it's slippery. What are you looking at? Oh. I was just surprised. You're actually a nice person. <laughs> oh, I knew it would be a pain to bring you along. If she only knew. I should have just come by myself. Yuri and his Do you always smirk. come to research these ruins alone? Yeah. Aren't you afraid you'll get hurt by monsters or traps? There are always risks if you're trying to actually do something. If someone gets hurt, it's an acceptable loss. Even if you're the one who gets hurt? Yeah. Don't you ever worry or hesitate? Worrying about getting what you want without anyone getting hurt? You've had a pretty easy life. An easy life? And Blastia will never betray me, so they're easy to deal with. Rita's amazing. She just comes right out and says what she has to say. She knows exactly what's important to her. I wish I knew what was important to me. Just travel around for a while. You'll figure it out. Woo! Okay, here we go. Moving into the ruins now. Searching the ruins. These ruins feel very different once you're inside them. Yeah, it's weird. And there's all this stuff I've never seen before. What, is this your first time too, Carol? Well, yeah. My specialty's monster hunting. Hey, what do you think this is? You really shouldn't be fooling around over there. This place is loaded with traps. Did anyone else just hear a click? Carol, watch out! Ah! Sorry, I thought you were about to get killed. I overdid it. I think I would have been better off getting caught in the trap. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, anyways, if you head down here, there is a brand new enemy. Oh man. All right, all right. So, we are going to start off right away by using a magic lens on it. Oh, there's two new enemies. So, Paul Wiggle. Level 8. So, I'm kind of over level for this place, technically. And I am going to make Estelle use a magic lens on the rivet. Yay! 1550. So, the bigger dudes are the ones you need to worry about. Little dudes are nothing. Which makes sense, because it looks like it's a, some sort of an evolutionary chain from of the that froggy variety. Yeah, this place is going to be kind of interesting. If you go across here right away, you will come across this dude. And you will also find this treasure chest, which contains an amber cloak, which will be equipped on... Yeah, I was pretty sure it was her. Rita! 
Okay, next up, heading over here and down here, you'll find some leather boots, which I will probably equip onto... what do they have? Yeah, I'll equip them onto Rita. And here's another new enemy. I'm gonna make you work. They got hooks. Awesome. Murfish. They're weak to fire and wind. Interesting. Okay. Oh yeah, now that you have Rita in the party, you're actually going to be using elemental attacks. I guess I can actually use Rita in a battle now. Oh man, I, I barely use these mages. Um, okay, so this one, this formula here, is a base art, and it's an actual attack, like physical attack. Your grace sends the enemy flying, so that's a physical attack, and that's set to down. Uh, stone Blast. Call forth the small rocks from beneath an enemy. She's used that a few times. And Fireball. Uh, fire and rock, that's what she has right now. And Carol, he's probably learned more techniques, but I haven't used him in battle, so he hasn't relearned them yet. Um, yeah. And Repeat always gets the short... Uh, Repeat gets shafted on skills. His next one's learned... He learns another skill at level 12, though. So we head down here, and we get to this place. Looks like this uh, little one is no good. Wow, so that's what a Blastia look like before they're excavated? I wonder why ancient people buried Blastia in ruins like these in the first place. I wish I could tell you that's something else being researched. With all these Blastia here, I don't suppose there are any Aquae Blastia around, too. None of them have cores in them. Really? Then they don't work, do they? Blastia aren't excavated with the cores and bodies together. Cores produce magic through the formulas. Bodies control that magic. Two combined are referred to as Blastia. Each Blastia possesses different attributes and is marked by a crest that indicates both those attributes. With current technology, Blastia bodies can be manufactured, but the production of Blastia cores is impossible. So basically, cores are very valuable since you have to excavate, you have to be excavated, and it's only natural thieves would want to steal them. That's not quite true. It seems Estelle's information is a little outdated. What's it? They did about it. Some degradation of quality, but there's still there's been some success in the synthesis of simple Blastia cores. Really? That's why I wouldn't do anything stupid like go stealing people's cores. If I had the time wasting, if I had to waste time doing things like that, I'd rather be spending it researching better ways to completely restore incomplete or degraded cores. That's what I'm be. That's what being a mage is all about. A noble creed. That doesn't clear your name. Ah, she's blushing a little bit. Yes, talk is cheap, I suppose. Perhaps there are still some good Blastia left that can be used. Yay! Moving on. Down here, and we're going to get another little cutscene. And an item. This one's still got a core in it. Here, try shooting this at the core. This ring set with something that looks just like a Blastia core. Glyph crystallization of a formula allows this Blastia to emit air as needed. That's not quite the best way to put it. It's actually used to charge other Blastia with air. But wait, how did you know that? In the castle, I read that the ring acts as a kind of key in ancient ruins. Castle? So all I do is point? Just aim the sorcerer's ring at the core of that Blastia. Face your target and shoot. There's a limit to its range, though. Go on, try it. And X. That's all it takes. That's a Strim Crest. It's a mark that indicates movement. Huh. Interesting. And up come the stairs. But not only that. But out comes some big dudes. Hey! What's that? A sentinel for taking care of unwanted guests. Okay then, keep your eyes open and let's keep moving. Are you sure? What if I'm just luring you deeper into the ruins so I can zap you? I'm starting to think I'd rather try my luck with the golem. <laughs> 
Here, you take it. Isn't this thing important or something? We'll need to use it a few more times. Okay, I guess I'd better hold it since I'm leading the way. Yay, we obtained the sorcerer's ring. Anyways, we next time we are going to read that message, watch that message, and go fight those dudes. So, see you then.